Teresa Coltman Rivers, a fifth generation rancher, raises red Angus cattle at Curry Canyon Ranch in the hills of Mount Diablo. The cattle graze on forage across the landscape, which in turn benefits the surrounding ecosystem. This property that I now run with, uh, somewhat in partnership with Save Mount Diablo, a conservation organization that uh, reached out and, and wanted to do some grazing practice. So now we've been here since 2013 and we've been working um, each year on implementing water uh, resources. So we've, uh, we've developed springs, natural springs that are already there and we've developed them in putting uh, storage tanks and pipeline in the ground so that we can then move water to different locations the livestock wouldn't generally graze. In terms of water footprint and, and thinking about rangeland based operations, which is what I largely work with, you know, from, from birth to farm gate, the water footprint, particularly relative to other industries, is really quite small. We run predominantly on springs on this ranch, actually, uh, springs and ponds. The top part of the ranch um, has a couple ponds and two springs. Uh, the ponds have dried up and the springs are trickling. Rangelands, they're low input systems. Livestock on this landscape, they're grazing, they're consuming vegetation that's growing and reproducing naturally on its own. Here's some of the forage uh, that, that will be available in the fall or in the winter when they come back. If you look over, we can see some of the native bunch grasses. They're always here, but on some years we have more, some years there's, there's less, and it's just really encouraging to see that they're doing well and still thriving here in a drought like this. Thank you.